You are listening to the Fear Film Studios Podcast Network. Pulse of Horror. I'm Robert Massetti, your host. I'm Don Fisher. Yeah. Don's with us. <laughs> <laughs> he got it this time. I was waiting for him to go. I was, wait- I was waiting for the dead air. <laughs> no dead air. We can't have dead air. We can't no, have dead no, air. No, no, no. Dude, no. no dead air. No. No. It's a killer. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Don Fisher. Tom Fisher calling in all the way from the Windy City, Chicago. Yes, the very wet the very Windy wet. City. Oh. Yes, lots of rain. Yeah, yeah, lots of rain. So, but we're all right. We survived. So. The wet, vaginal city. Oh, right now. <laughs> yes. Not in a good way. <laughs> not that kind of way. No, it was not a good way. <laughs> oh, I don't know why man. they came to mind there, but that's what. Uh, that's, oh, that, that, no. that's just me. I, I think I've been in isolation too long, man. Oh, I think you have. Yeah, you got to get out there, Rob. <laughs> oh my God. I got the JJ on the mind, dude. Too oh, much, man. Oh, yes. The hoo ha. Yes. <laughs> That could be a podcast. Just talk about different, well, oh, different names. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and how they originated. Well, this one. No. Um, oh, that would be yeah. interesting. Huh? That... <laughs> <laughs> right in the JJ. Oh my goodness! You know, like they do in the Austin Powers movies I mean, with, with the the dick jokes. I have a confession to make. Uh oh, here we go. You haven't seen them. I haven't. Oh my god! I'm not a fan, Rob. Really? I just. No, those I things just, are funny. You should check it out if you I like. Just think they're silly and stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's just, that's the comedy of it. It makes fun no. of spy movies. It makes fun. Mm. of It's funny. I like what's this? Is this Mike Myers? Mm-hmm. The I can't believe you don't like those I movies. Like, I can't believe it. I just yeah, Diana can't either. She's like, are you are you serious? Are you? Oh my like, god! Like everybody likes that. Oh you my don't? god! It's so I'm, funny. I, dude. I just don't find it that. It's just over maybe the top. Maybe it's maybe you have to at least see Goldmember because that that's. <laughs> she said the first one's the best one. I the first one I like them all, uh, but the <laughs> there's some funny stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not there's I could see. It's just I stupid, can see certain, like certain parts humor. where you can go, yeah, it's stupid humor, but you know, fat bastard and. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. Aren't you in know. my belly? I know everybody <laughs> loves that, and I just oh, I tried. She had it on one day, and I'm like, ah. but then right. I love Napoleon Dynamite, and people well, are like, like me, go. like you know, if you, you don't like that, I you, did you? I didn't like that one. No. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See, there's where we differ, and that's fine, and that's you know, everybody's different, and you know, this is it's gonna this is gonna happen, and this is fine. And <laughs> I, 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 my my friend Rich is like. I'll never get those two hours back in my life, and I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, it, it, it had some funny stuff in it, but it just, I don't know. It just didn't. I love I, just, I, love I couldn't it. take them for a certain amount of time. It just got on my And nerves. that's what other people have said, but I just, I, now, I, I have like, to admit, the first stupid. viewing, yeah, the first viewing, I'm like, what am I watching? It's like, I didn't even know, like, how to react. And then the second viewing, I'm like, oh, my God. It's and then when I was dating Diana, I was looking at her. You know, you look at their DVD collection, and I saw she she owned it, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and she likes Monty Python too, well, which Monty I know Python's that's different. Awesome, but, yeah. yeah, it is. It is like she had all of the Flying Circus, and then she had Holy Grail. Yeah, the knights that say, nee. but she didn't have, <laughs> but she didn't have the other two. And I'm like, you what? don't have the other two. She what? didn't have Life of Brian, oh, and she didn't God. have Meaning of Life. No, Brian, get so out for here, Christmas, out your room. 
Oh my god! Right, and so I had to I had to complete the trilogy for her. So I bought the two other DVDs for her. So, so now she's set. So I don't yeah. know how we got on comedy, but we're supposed to be talking about I horror movies, either. man. I, Come on, I know. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know how we got on how did we got on Austin Powers. I, don't I have know. no idea. But anyway, so. <laughs> So all Something you, with the rain. Yeah, all, I don't know. All you horror fans out there, we do have a show for you. We, just, we do. We're not we just do. talking yeah. about comedy. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, I wanted to tell you. Oh, here we go. I watched the Unhinged trailer. You did. What did you think? I, and I, I I, liked it. I'm I'm intrigued, and I want to see it. I really do. You're just, you're just um, a Russell Crowe fan. That's it. No. I thought it was... <laughs> No, 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 no! It looks really good, and you know what? It remind it did remind me of uh, Joyride. Yeah, it reminds me of a um, lot of movies, but sorry. it does. And it was like a combination of Joyride and Falling Down kind of type deal. Yes, but um, it looks really good. I want to see it. He really messes with her. He it does. really looks good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I. When does that come out? Uh, July. I think you're telling me. F- uh, somewhere in July. I think it was July first. Okay. Okay. If I remember right. So. In the theaters type deal? Like in the when theaters, you said... yeah. That okay. was supposed to be the first uh, theatrical release after the pandemic. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that and Quiet Place 2. So those are the two I'm looking forward to. So, so in the news this week, okay, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, I just got the news update not too long ago, is going to be directing a movie, a horror film really? for Blumhouse. Really? Yes, called Mother Nature. Oh. Yeah. So. And she's not in it at all. She's just directing. I, she is actually in it and directing and oh, writing. Oh, she's, it. okay. So she. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess they, you know, they had a good experience with Halloween and now she's able to kind of let out her creativity with the, you know, with Jason Blum. And, and uh, try so, out her directing chops. Yeah. 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 So that'll okay. be interesting. That'll be interesting. And that's coming out this year? Well, they didn't say when is it coming out. It was just that okay. she was, I don't even know if the script has even been started. Oh, so okay. She, she's okay, just, it was just announced she's going to be doing it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Cool. So that's good. Well, and then she's doing Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills, yes. And then Halloween Ends. Yep. And do you think it's really going to end? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. <laughs> Next one will be Halloween Forever. <laughs> Forever Halloween starring Jamie Lee Curtis. I thought I got to tell you, part of me thought it was done. In, what was it? The end of was it Resurrection? You're thinking of Resurrection. When at Evil. the end that you think that she, or was it H two O when she chops his head off? Oh yeah, H two O. Yeah. Okay, and I thought that was it. I'm like, me too. Okay, I'm like how can you bring Michael head. back from that? Right. It's done. How and then, of course, that? they explain it that it wasn't really him. Yeah, it was, know, yeah. Stupid. And it's like, well, so stupid. but I'm like, that's the only way they can keep it going. I remember talking to a friend of mine, my friend Carl, about it, and he's like, "Well, I'm like, it's done." And I'm like, "Well, he's like, well, <laughs> there is a way they could continue it." And I'm like, "It's a How? horror genre, man. Anybody can I come know. back." He, and he called it. He figured it out before they even, you know, did the next movie. And so, yeah, but <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. I I love seeing Jamie Lee. I, I don't know. I know we did Halloween last week, but I love that she's come back and she's done some of these films. And um, yeah, yeah. And nothing against Danielle Harris. You know those uh, uh, I love, those films were I love great Danielle too. Yeah, Harris. yeah. If, yeah. She, if she's I thought she did great. Look, look. Yeah, right. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe we can have her on someday oh, and talk I'd love about to. it. I'd love yeah. that. Yeah. So but she's made it. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, nope. So uh, more news that happened this week. Um, uh, the Forever Purge. I don't know if you're a Purge fan, Don. Yeah, I am. Okay, so there's this movie uh, that was supposed to, the the next in the Purge episodes was called The Forever Purge. It was okay. supposed to be coming out uh, July 4th. Oh. But now it's been scrapped. Scrapped? For, well, not scrapped, but... It's supposed, supposed to open for the summer, and they pushed it to supposedly Halloween. Oh my God! So. Wow. And this is like the fourth installment, I think, right? Yes. Okay. I liked all three of them. Have you seen all three? I have not. Have you seen any of them? I haven't seen any of them. Oh, Rob! Didn't interest me. 
Really? I don't know if that's just people running around with masks killing people. Uh, I think I've seen that how many times? No, I know, kidding. but you don't. What about the premise? <laughs> I love the premise. I know the premise, yeah. Know. For one day. I don't know. It just didn't interest me. Maybe I should check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah. It's just a unique, I don't know, maybe not unique, but it's an interesting idea. I saw, I saw the Rick and Morty hours. episode where they did the purge, and I thought that was funny. Oh, okay. Well, I know you're not into Rick and Morty, but I, I, I don't even know if I know Rick and Morty. <laughs> um, <laughs> how could you not know Rick and Morty? Come on! I Jesus don't know. Christ, God! I don't watch the you Big Bang Theory. The I don't, culture, you know, man, I suck at trivia. Culture. You know, my wife and I haven't won trivia night yet. Lord. You know, <laughs> I know we've been like it's been like I five weeks. Co-host. We've been doing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Zoom trivia and we haven't won a we haven't won yet and I'm oh like my God. we both suck at it you but suck, that's all right it's fun to see everybody and we you know it's a nice evening but yeah I mean there's like okay we're gonna now the next category is TV I'm like all right well that's an automatic you know <laughs> that's a loss right there <laughs> just I just I mean unless it's Walking Dead or I don't know yeah. she watched the Arrow series I don't know oh, on Netflix good. I like that. Yeah, she loved that. I didn't watch it with her, but she really liked it. So we just don't watch regular TV. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Are you a TV watcher or more movies or you're more uh, movies? Right? I mean, all I can really watch is Netflix. So. Right. I mean, yeah. I used to, you know, I used to have, Dis- um, well, I have Disney Plus. Yeah. And I used to have um, DC Universe, but I got rid of that. Okay. Which. Yeah. Goes on to more news, um, okay. which was on DC Universe, Swamp Thing um, oh. is now coming to the CW. Oh. So they're going to have the the one season that they had in uh, DC Universe is going to be on CW now. But they haven't said if they're going to continue it, which they, they've been saying that basically what they're doing is just introducing the character to the CW, and then maybe he'll be in like Arrow and the other DC ones that they have. So we'll find oh, out. Okay. We'll see what happens there. But okay. um, if you're a Swamp Thing fan, I would check it out. It's uh, It was a really good series. I, I, I enjoyed it, but it got canceled. So hmm. I don't know why they're putting it to CW, and that's the whole thing. It's like now is CW going to be making it? I don't know. We'll have to wait hmm. and see. Okay. So that's the news for this that week. your radar. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So um, this week I actually watched a horror film. Uh, it wasn't you like did. Uh, you know, like your typical horror fan, a horror film, I should say. Um, okay. Have you seen uh, Zombieland? I have with okay. uh, what's his name? Woody um, Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Okay. I have. Have you seen the Zombieland Double Tap? No. That's the one that just came out. Okay. I, I saw, saw the that. first one. I saw that. The first one's got Bill Murray in it, right? Bill Murray's in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, I saw that. And Bill Murray's in the second one too. Oh. Yes. It was Did really he die good. In the man. first one, I thought he died in the first. He was one. a zombie. Oh. But okay. they explain in the second one what happened. Oh. It's pretty cool. Some funny stuff. Did you- did you like it? I loved it. I thought it was funny. It was, it's a, it's okay. it's a funny movie. It's not. It's like, tongue in re- cheek. It's not really right, a horror exactly. film. It's got zombies. No. In it. No. But it's not. I was like, I gotta check this out because I really enjoyed the first one. I liked Zombie Land. Yeah, and uh, so I checked it out. I was like, damn. I mean, I'm still debating whether or not it's better than the first one, but it was it was fun. It was if you liked the first one, definitely check out the second one. Double Tap was it was funny. Had some funny stuff in it. Speaking of zombies, before I forget, I think we should do another podcast on 28 Days and 28 Weeks. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I loved those movies holy shit that i love those movies oh my go. god we'll have to talk about that yeah i i would love to do that they're fantastic yes and you liked them both yes i did oh i did <laughs> oh, great. I, I saw those so, in the theater so oh okay i don't know if i saw them in the th- maybe the first first one i did maybe i don't know about the second one but, well the first oh. one interests me because they were they shot the entire film on uh, a Canon X01 on digital mini DV because okay. they wanted a certain look, and that intrigued okay. me. I was like, "Yeah, really? Shooting with a Canon X01, really?" And then I saw the footage, and I'm like, "Wow, that looked pretty good." 
So yeah, and it goes for the throat. We'll, we're not oh, going to talk yeah. too much about. It. I'd like to save that for. Oh my God, those those two films are fantastic. Fantastic. Ooh. Anyway, so so uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, the Exorcist. And yes. uh, before we get into that, let's take a little tiny break. Okay, sure. If that's cool with you. Absolutely. Is it? Oh yeah. Are you going to do a little sound effect? Hey. From your bo- there you go. <laughs> I would have been disappointed had you not. <laughs> <laughs> Rob still has his toy. Holy I know cow. you're surprised. But, oh, uh, I had to do that. Yes, I love that. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. We're so gonna we'll take, be right back in a little bit then. In, a, All in, right. in just a couple minutes. Okay. All right. You are listening to the Fear Film Studios Podcast Network. Hello, kitties. <laughs> It's your old pal, Freakota Clown, here to tell all you filmmakers out there that if you have a film that you want to submit to the best horror genre film festival in the world, then submit it now. The Freak Show Horror Film Festival is taking short films, super short films, and feature-length horror films. If you need more information, just go to our website at freakshowfilmfest.com, click on the submit button, and you'll get all the information that you need. That's freakshowhorrorfilmfest.com. And while you're there, tell them freaking a clown sent you. <laughs> We're back with more, <laughs> with more, oh more horror vein. We are. <laughs> I wanted. I told you I wanted to come back with energy, and that yes. gives you energy, doesn't it? It does. It does. Come on. It's like a shot of adrenaline. I'm feeling it? it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Why do I think of the drummer of the Tonight Show? What the hell is his name? <laughs> oh shit. Max Weinberg or something like that. Oh, oh man, anyway. I'm knocking shit over. Look at this. I know God, you are. Damn, man. I know. You're, so, you're still hey, happy I'm with still your new happy. toy. Got I that, know. That new toy. I know. Yeah, that, it still yeah, smells that, like that a brand new, new toy car. smell. Yes. <laughs> I was just going to have to say. <laughs> <laughs> smells oh, like a new car, man. That's right. I love it. Yep. So, have we told them what we're going to be talking about this, I think this we episode? Did. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. we did. Uh, okay. We're talking about William Friedkin's The Exorcist. Yes. The yes. 1973 movie. Now. 73. I don't know wow. if you remember. Uh, do you remember when it came out? Mm. No. When this was, movie came out. I was a younging. I was a young younging. I was a youngster. Um, <clears throat> this movie you've got was. got a few years on me, This my movie friend. was huge. I mean, I was young when it came out. But, yeah. When this movie came out, uh, of course, the novel by William William Peter Blatty, I think his name is. Yeah, William Peter Blatty. Yeah. Um, yeah. That novel was popular, but yeah. when the movie came out, there was like lines around the block. It was like Star Wars. It was huge. Yeah. And yeah. there was all this talk about people throwing up in the theaters. And oh, I remember going that. Nuts yeah. In there and, Yes. Getting possessed. Yes. Yep. I remember all that. <laughs> Which that, yep. all, that all led up to the anticipation of, oh my God, should I see this movie or or yeah. not? It was scary. Oh, yeah. It was, fair. It oh, was yeah. scary. It was. And then. Well, just. Go ahead. And then it came on television. You know, they, they played it a lot in television. Yeah. And, you know, they cut it. Whatever. Oh my God! But. Did they? They hacked it up. Yeah. Well, you had to. You had to for you television. To. Now, nowadays, you wouldn't have to touch you wouldn't it. Have to but touch back it. then, yes, yeah. yes. So uh, yeah. I remember, um, you know, going through the channels. You know, you're watching TV, and a scene from The Exorcist would pop up and be like, "What the fuck?" Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, especially you know, like you, like we talked before about you, you got a babysitter. And the babysitter's on around, and you're flipping through the channels, and you're like, ooh, The Exorcist. Yeah. And I remember. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I remember watching oh, yeah. it, and then uh, 
and then her head starts spinning around. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my oh God. fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't oh, yeah. watch this anymore. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it was just so real. I mean, it was, I don't. I think it was the forerunner. I don't know that there were many movies before this one. No, no one really saw that talked anything about demon like possession yeah. and exorcism. Well, I just it was, don't it think was, so. It was, it was one of the few horror films that kind of went at it as a regular movie, not like a cheesy horror flick. I mean, it was gritty. It was well acted. Very, yeah. You know, it lit well. I mean, it looked like a regular movie, but it was this intense horror film, but it, you know, it really, when you come down and you break down the movie, it's not really what you think it is. Right. The film. Yeah. Um, you know, the story's about this girl being possessed, but it's not really about her. It's about father Karras. Yeah. Because he had lost his faith he, you know, he wasn't, didn't want to be a priest anymore. Mm-hmm. And then he gets called in to do this exorcism. And the devil confronts him and knows that he's lost his faith and mm-hmm. tests him throughout the entire film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's a moment in the film that gives me chills every time it happens. And I'm like, that's what the whole movie's about. Is when he has her down and, the de- you know the devil or the demon yelling at him and he gets his faith back and he goes, Mm -hmm. come into me, come into me. Yeah. And he gets possessed and then he goes out the window and goes down the stairs. Yeah. So he gets his faith, saves the girl, but he dies. Mm -hmm. He's the hero. And that's what the whole film's about. That he found his faith and when he did, he did the right thing. And saved the girl. Yeah. So I was like, a really good movie. <laughs> but getting to that, holy but cow. But getting to that, yes. Linda was just Linda, Linda Blair. Blair. Wow. I just, it was just, for, I think for its time, it was just so shocking. You know, the things like her dialogue. Oh, my God. Oh, the the scene with the, the cross oh. in her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like all that, oh Rob. I'm like, here's this, you know, this girl. Wow. How can yeah. <laughs> wow? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it that, was that's, just that's really. That's where that's where you know a lot of the the uh, controversy came about the film. Oh yeah. Um, you're like, how did he let this little girl do a scene like that? You know, with yeah. masturbating with <laughs> with the oh, crucifix. Yeah. How, how old was she? Do you remember? She was playing a twelve year old. So I don't know okay. if she was actually 12 years old when she did it. So Okay. But pretty close, I would I think, would right? I would say that she would probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I just, that's what just, again, it made it just so controversial, like you said, and shocking and, um, uh, you know, sucks, you know, in hell. And, I mean, you know, all this stuff that she was saying, I'm like, wow. And then... <laughs> Here, here you have chilling. this horror yeah. film that's nominated for Best Picture. I mean, you had not seen that before. No. A horror film nominated for an Academy Award right. for Best Picture. It didn't win. Yeah. It didn't win, but it was nominated. No. It did win yeah. Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Sound Mixing. So it didn't wow. win two Academy Awards. Holy cow. I didn't remember that. Yeah. Wow. And it was, and it became one of the highest grossing R-rated films Oh, I bet. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. It surpassed Terminator 2. I mean, wow. And once again, um, the soundtrack, very recognizable. Oh, there you go with the, yeah, with the music. Yeah, added yeah. to the film, just like Halloween, just like Night, um, Tubular Bells, you know? Yeah. I mean, I even know the name, you know? I mean, it's just, it sticks with you, and so it's we'll go, very memorable. We'll go to the, uh, all, the same question I always start off with, was do you remember when you first saw the film? I just don't. Um and I always go back to probably in the 90s when I was living with Carl and he was showing oh, me all these it's horror like films. a broken record, Don. Come on. I know. I kidding. can't I'm help kidding. it. I, I just – I'm sure that's when it was and I was just – and I don't know. I'm sure I'd seen other like maybe possession films before it, you know, or after Nothing it, this intense say. though. Nothing. But nothing this intense. No. Nothing like this. This was just – oh, I mean – it reminds me like, you know, like the Forerunner, like Night and like how the first Halloween and the first 
Texas Chain. I mean, it's just for its time. I mean, it was just it, it really cool. it set the standard for uh, and and gave I think gave horror films more of a credibility um, mm-hmm. where you could actually make a frightening film, but you know let it resonate with all kinds of different people that probably wouldn't normally watch a horror film right um because they when you for whatever reason when you're dealing with the devil or demons a lot of people don't see it as a horror film they see that as real you know like they some people actually have been through that or believe in it have a little experience or you know believe in it sure absolutely due to religion and you know that was the whole thing and you know I never really believed in that stuff, but for whatever reason, I was, I, the, I'd seen scenes of it, and I didn't see the whole film till later on when I was older. But I'd seen mm-hmm. scenes of it, and it kind of freaked me out. It was like one of the sure. only horror films where I went, eh, "That's kind of a I don't know, man." It just gets me for whatever reason. Sure, sure. You know, I don't know about you, but no no i absolutely there's yeah. uh, there, and then there's there's visuals in that in that movie that are disturbing to this day and they're not like disturbing to well i can't look at that but it they're kind of subliminal mm-hmm. and and actually it's kind of foreshadowing because you see what you think is the that that demon for a second and it's actually father Harris being you know, possessed. So it's kind of a foreshadowing mm-hmm. of what's going to happen to that character in the dream. When he has that dream about his mother going down the steps, that's mm-hmm. just freaky sequence. Very mm-hmm. freaky sequence. Oh yeah. And the stairs yeah, and itself I, where he falls yeah. down. Oh my God. Yeah. And I just, what just sticks in my mind is just, you know, like her head spinning around the spider walk well, that um, wasn't in the original movie. That was in the re-release. No. Yeah, I saw that version in the theater. I don't know if I knew that. Yes, that was so, that was originally cut out in the Spider-Man. original film. Yes. And then they added it in the re-release. They had filmed it, but they cut it out. I, for whatever reason, oh, they thought it was too disturbing. I guess I don't know. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, okay. so they did a director's cut or whatever they called it, a re-release, and they had all that and stuff. And that's when they put that in, in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the one I saw. Maybe yeah, I, that's the one I saw, too. I saw that in the theaters. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I very. I mean, that was just like, holy cow. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm, oh my God. You know, and like I said, and then just... <sighs> I'm just thinking on this poor Linda Blair, this role that, I mean, it's like yeah, it had to have affected her. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. I, I don't know. She's been to a couple of conventions that I've been to, and I never really got to talk to her, but I always wanted to talk to her about that. And I'm sure there's interviews, too. I'm sure you can find them, yeah, on YouTube. About and how she, how yeah. she, what she went through. Um, sure, yeah. But, you know, it a lot was... of that was a dummy. Um yeah, you know, I mean, she was in makeup in some scenes, but uh, right, that's you know, true. It was interesting, how, and if you watch some of the behind-the-scenes stuff about the making of that film, it's just I should. I have not seen any of that. Yeah, really, the featurettes, or whatever. Really yeah. amazing. Um, um, but you know, I mean, I, I like I like the film. Don't get me wrong, but I always thought Exorcist Three was a little bit more disturbing. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that one. I don't know. George, I don't. George I haven't C. seen Scott. the. Se- I know, I know he's in that. Yeah, I oh don't know if God. I've seen the sequels. There's okay. some scenes in that movie. Holy mackerel! Now she's in the second one. She's in Heretic, yes. And it, she's not in the third one. one. No, she's okay. not in the third one. I can't. Re- no, she's not in the third one. Okay. But it goes more okay. into um, the demon itself. So okay, pretty cool. Okay. If you get a chance, they only to see made it. three. I think they made three, right? Yeah, it made three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, but I, I did not I, see uh, the second one because I was like, "Eh, what can I do?" You know. Do you know what I, I don't even know? What do you know what it's about? No idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that'd be worth checking out. I don't know. Like I say, I've only seen the first one, which yeah. you know that's, that's why I said. I, I mean, the third one's kind of outside of the story, and okay. uh, kind of it's like I want to say a kind of a prequel 
but I don't know, man. It's got some freaky scenes in it. <laughs> okay. It was pretty good, though. George yeah. C. Scott, man. I like anything that he's in. Oh, he's so. great. Yeah. So. so so you liked this film? I did. I did. Yeah. I mean, and again, for its time and, you know, like the forerunner, I mean, now, you know, they have the exorcism of Emily Rose and all these other films. And again, I think this one started them all. You know yeah. what I mean? And um and I appreciate it like I appreciate like I was saying the first Halloween and that for you know and, and night and first Texas Chainsaw I mean it's I don't know it, it it reminds me it's very similar in the sense that it's you know not so much gory I mean there's some you know gross things and you know when she throws up and all that but yeah um, you know like that spew that she does like oh the my green God. pea soup yeah yeah the green pea <laughs> soup but you know it's 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 more about again I know we sound like broken records here but story like you said and and characters and um yeah you know, and, and like even her her mother I mean she's going through all this and um you know and she's trying to be oh strong. god yeah i forgot about doesn't know what's going on with her daughter she pees on the carpet and all, right and she's just like flipping out doesn't know what to do yeah oh yeah all that i mean she's kind of like the um she's the 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 mold that's tr- keeping everything together even with yeah even yeah. with the priests you know oh sure and he yeah. you know she's like adamant you know you got to save my daughter what's Absolutely. wrong with her you know yeah and oh, they're yeah. like well, we've never, they didn't, they don't admit this, but we've never encountered anything like this before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That and that's why, that's why so I like the film so much. It's, um, you, you take a circumstance where, you know, a character thinks that they know they can, they think they can handle anything. They've been through similar stuff, but then mm-hmm. they get to this and they're like, I don't know if I can handle it. This they're is, in over their head. They're, yeah. This is something we've never oh, yeah. encountered before. Right. And they're constantly being tested. And they're constantly being tested about their faith. And sure. that's that's the strength of the film is that the devil or the demon or you know whatever whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Um and and it's you know it goes along with how how people are have to deal with you know things every day. Sure. You know, good against evil. Sure. And I I just like that that those characters had to find themselves to try to defeat this this thing. Oh yeah. And in a way they never really defeated it, but they saved the girl and that was the main thing. Sure. You know. And all the religious implications, yes. you know, I mean, you know, people get disturbed and and it's very unsettling because you know, Christianity and faith it's a personal thing. Yes. And, you know, you start crossing lines and start talking about the devil and, you know, possessing somebody. And, you know, like you said, you know, some people believe it, some people don't. But the people that do, I mean, I mean, it, it's it's very unsettling. It really is. I mean, it's and this film just took it went for the throat. It really did. I mean, it's and, the, and that's why, you know, the that was its, you know, defense was yeah. it was going to it wanted the shock. And disturb. Oh, and it sure did. They, oh my goodness! I mean, the, the yeah. devil wanted to shock and disturb these priests. They were he, doing everything that it could to get them to run away. And, but you, they, could, and you can't sugarcoat stuff like that. I no. mean, if you're going to do it, you got to do it. You got to go for it. And, and they that's did. that's the power. Yeah. That's the power of this film. Yeah, it's like, all right, this thing's evil, and right. this is an evil that even they have never encountered. And sure. this is what true evil looks like. It's taking this poor, innocent young girl, making her doing yeah. all these, I want to say god awful things, and right. here they are going. Okay, God's going to save us. Yeah, our faith is going to save us. Yeah, but yeah, it's you know they're questioning their their faith. You know because yeah. it's never been. You know, questioned like that before, or tested, like or tested. This before. Yeah, I should say, yeah, absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. That's what I love yeah. about it. Oh, I yeah. love that. You know, like it's not one of those routine. Okay, we know what to do. We've seen this, you know, ten times before. Let's go through the the motion. You know what I mean? The, the whatever I mean, they normally do, and the, and, and, then, and and everything will be fine. Right? No. <laughs> and even no. even Father Car- <laughs> even the two priests, they were kind of at odds at each, with each other. You know, and yeah. um, and I, the acting is so superb. 
between yeah. the two of them. And but and it's mainly it's mainly the two priests, yeah. Linda Blair, and then the mother and, and the mother. mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's it. But you know, yeah, the guy that plays Father Karras, though, I mean, he his struggle throughout the entire thing is just amazing to watch. How he's kind of you know he's coming around, and then he he just makes that that leap. Yeah. And, and that's what it, what it is, and that's the the symbolism of those stairs is that he made a leap of faith. Sure did. To save the girl. Yeah. Come into me. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I love Jeez. that. That's so powerful. I love Unreal. that. Unreal. I love it. Yeah. So instead of like exercising the demon out of her and then up into like you know into thin air or something, he took it upon himself. Absolutely. Right. Like some of the other movies, they just you know exercise the demon and he goes and that's somewhere. It. But right. and that's it. You know. <laughs> but. Yeah, to sacrifice yourself right. um, for the better good, for the better good, for the for the child. Yeah, absolutely. And she was a child, right? You know, she was a little girl. Yeah, I mean, it, he really didn't uh, have too much going on in his life, and he was kind of looking at his whole life in general and going, "I can make that sacrifice." Sure, for this girl. Yeah, and that whole scene with you know the power of Christ will compel you, and they're putting the Oh yeah, holy water on it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, but it's dark. I mean, dark it's really dark. <laughs> kind of like night when they shoot dead at the end. I mean, it's yeah, dark. I mean, to have dark. a priest and then you know die. I mean, it's like, it's it's just for the. I mean, for and you said 1974. I mean, for that time. I mean, wow. 72. I don't know. I just. <laughs> um, you said 74. 73. Right? I'm sorry. 73. 73. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> same, yeah. We're in the ballpark. In the ballpark. Anyway, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, for its time, I mean, that's just, you know, that and that's, you know, adds to the power of the film. You know, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It, it, to me, that it, it makes a bigger impact by doing stuff like that, you it, know. And I'm reading about some quotes here. And it said, uh, Freakin asked, uh, then asked Linda if she knew what masturbation meant. Wow. And she said, it's like jerking off, isn't it? She giggled a little bit. And he goes, have you ever done that? She said, sure, haven't you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> right back at you there, William. Okay, you're cast. You're, you're in the movie. Yeah, right? <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> I think she was a little bit She's older. She's perfect. <laughs> Let's do the crucifix scene now. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, Linda. All, All right. right. Yeah. That's something to ask her the next time you see her. <laughs> yeah. You know what masturbation is? Um, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I do at 12 years old. No. Masturbation. Um, masturbation. 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 Oh, my goodness. So. Now, yeah. um, William, William Freakin, uh, he made this movie called The French Connection. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Yeah, but all his all ago. his films um, were very gritty. What kinda, else did he do? He did uh, the I think it was it was called Sorcerer. Okay, where they're trying to take this truck with nitroglycerin across this bridge. <laughs> and, okay, and it's like like going everywhere. There's like a, in the middle of a storm. Um, and then he did. I don't know. He kind of lost it after. The French Connection and uh, The Exorcist. Um, okay. But uh, his films have always been kind of documentary, very gritty. French Connection is very gritty cop film. Okay. Um, very realistic type Isn't that movie. Gene Hackman in it? Gene Hackman's in it, yeah. Gene Hackman's yeah. like in everything. Uh, I love him. <laughs> I know he's, uh, he's pretty much stopped acting. He's, he's really he's he, he was like a, now. A, like in a time you would be like any movie, there he, there is. He's in every damn movie. That guy uh, worked so much. I never seen anyone work so much in all my life. Mississippi Burning. Uh, oh my gosh! Wow, fantastic. Hoosiers. I love him. Hoosiers. Yeah. I love. I love Gene Hackman. <laughs> I think his last movie was Welcome to Mooseport or something like that, and then he hasn't oh, acted for a while. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, he's great. That's right. So. Um, Shirley MacLaine. Was in that movie. Welcome to Mooseport? No, uh, Exorcist. 
Oh, no. She was? She wasn't. No, I'm sorry. I'm reading no. this wrong. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No, they approached her. Which they wanted... director's cut is they... that, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> no, they wanted her for the movie. I got it. I, I read this. Book. Okay, I'm I was going to say, let's put in the Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> Shirley MacLaine. Now. There she is. Yeah. The Shirley MacLaine edit. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh my God! Shirley McLean in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my God! Sorry, Don. That's I'm not. Great. I'm not perfect like you, dude. I'm I got. I never said I would never infer that ever, ever, never, not never. ever. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you? Did Shirley you... McLean edit. Oh my God! <laughs> Shirley McLean. Edit. <laughs> oh, Exorcist 1.0 <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. That's awesome uh, <laughs> So <laughs> So um, uh, Max Von Yeah we lost him in March We, we lost him yeah. Now supposedly he was 44 years old When they made the Exorcist, and they put makeup on him to make him look like he was To make him look older? I yes. didn't know that. Yeah. That's good makeup. Damn good makeup. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> so he's probably like, he was probably the same age as Father Karras. Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they really olded him up. I guess that's how you yeah, say it. Did. I don't know. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's great. And we lost him this past month in March. Well, two months ago. Okay, yeah. I, I I just I remember that. I remember when it happened. Yeah, I remember the when it came on the news. So now the spider walk scene that you were talking about. Yes. Uh, stunt woman Ann Miles performed the spider walk scene in November of 1973. Freakin deleted this scene against Blady's objection just prior to the premiere. Why? As he just judged the scene as appearing too early in the film's plot. In the book, the spider walk is more muted, consisting of Regan following Sharon around near the floor and flicking, flickering a snake-like tongue at her ankles. Mm. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So William Peter Blatty wanted it in, and Freakin said, no, I'm not yeah. going to have it in the movie. And then they, like you said, they had it in the re-release. They okay. had it in the re-release, yeah. Interesting. Wow. And Dick Smith did the special effects makeup. Is he popular and, and known for other? Yeah, he's uh, he's a really good uh, makeup artist. Um, okay. What has he done? He did he did Don Corleone in The Godfather. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, you know he did like subliminal makeup that you couldn't tell. You know. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Oh, Susie, don't. I don't know why I just thought of Suspiria. I have no idea. That Suspiria. just popped into my head. <laughs> but I think we should do a podcast on Suspiria. Oh, really well, yeah, definitely have that planned. I Oh, that film. Suspiria. Oh, my God. Wow. Fantastic. So, um, Go on forever, I, I, Otherwise, if I don't say it, I'll forget it. So that's why I just had to throw it throw it in there. So, so, so. so folks, we, we have a couple podcasts coming up with different yeah, things coming so up. Yeah, so we want to do the 28... <laughs> Days and 28 20, weeks, and then 20, we want to do 28 Suspiria. days, weeks, and Suspiria. Yeah. yeah. So you have that to so look that's, forward to. Yeah. That's, so, that'll be in the upcoming weeks, when, yeah. what have you. So um, <laughs> so you have something to look fantastic. forward to. Yeah. Well, why not give them a little, you know, I mean, talk of uh, things to come, you know. A little preview of horror Yeah, a little preview. To, to come. Yeah. yeah there you go. Absolutely. Oh, fantastic films. Oh. Oh, my God. Excuse, excuse me. Docking the ship. Is it time to... Have we run out of time already? No. Oh, okay. I thought that was the hook. Get off the stage, Get up. There's the hook. Get out of here. We're talking about other films. You We're talking about The Exorcist. You Damn son it. of a gun, you. Um, oh, God. So, yeah. Um, but I love the little trivia you're talking about. I love the little tidbits um, about the spider walk. And... Yes. Um, and how old Max von Sydow was. I didn't know any of that See, I can't stuff. even pronounce his name, so you're, you're good. Max von Sydow. Sydow. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. There you go. 
Now, um, you didn't see Sorcerer. Now, that, no. that movie, the soundtrack was by Tangerine Dream. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Oh, yeah, I know Tangerine Dream. Absolutely. Oh, I love that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had done some really They've good They've done soundtrack. a lot. They've yes. done a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. I think they did Legend. Um, but like big in the, they were like big in the eighties, right? Big in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Tubular well, Bells. Yeah. Debuted album. English. Mike. Oldfield. So wait, they did the Tangerine Dream no, did no, the no, music? No no. No, 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 I didn't think so. No. Okay. No, okay. it was, uh, by English prog- progressive rock musician, Mike Oldfield. I never heard of him. No. But he did okay. that, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, it was wonderful. So, isn't that wonderful? I wish I had. I wonderful? wish I had. I was trying to get that that little bit of music to to play in the podcast. Oh, the tubular bell. That would have been nice. But we didn't have time to put it on. But no, that's okay. Next time, I'll try right. to get something like that for you. Now. Yeah, absolutely. Just you're you. still working out. You're still not work. You're still working out the little. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to figure out things with your new toy and learning all its features. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, stop that. <laughs> uh, quit pinching my ass. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't want to bring so, up the Cubs right now because uh, that, that's a sore spot with John, uh, Don. Right oh, now. oh, God. Here we go. No, I, I won't get into it. I'm just. But it's hard. We I do miss, miss the Carey. baseball season right now. So we, do. we do. And I'm sure many listeners do, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, if they're baseball fans, and I'm sure there's some out there. And I hope should there be is. a couple. There should be. If there yeah, is. Horror there. fans like baseball. Come on. They do. I think they do. Yeah. You think, though? You would think. I do. Yeah. Maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, I miss Harry Carey a lot. I, I just, oh, he was here terrific. Here we go. Gotta he bring was. up Harry Carey. Come well, on. yeah, you said holy cow. I know. So what that I made love, me think I of love him. Harry Carey, man. Okay. He's like, okay. Know, he's the best, dude. As sure as God made little green apples, one day the Cubs will be in the World Series and sooner than you think. And we were, and we won. And I went to game four. So that's, there you You go. I was at Wrigley at game four. I was there. And we lost, but I was there. Wow, that sucks, man. The one game that you go to. I know, I know. Game five, we won. My friend Rich was at that game, but I was at game four. John Lackey against Corey Kluber. No, if you could have only been and at the game. we got clubbed by Kluber. Huh? If you only could have been at the game where they actually won. Oh, my oh, friend Rich geez. was there. Yeah. Who? But anyway. Who was that? My friend Rich and oh, he was. Uh, his okay. wife, Chris. He has season tickets, and he was there at game five. Holy so. cow. Yeah. But it was just, just to be there, Rob, was just, oh, yeah. it's something I'll never forget. So. Uh, I don't know how we got on that. I don't either. <laughs> I guess that's all we got to say about The Exorcist. The, the Cubs were a horror <laughs> show before then. Maybe we could tie that in. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, they were. The oh my God. Cubs were a horror thing. Yes, they were. Yes, they not were. anymore. Well. But who cares, we'll man? How... You're sitting in the bleachers. Who cares? Drinking a beer, man. You're in Rick that's Field. Right. Who gives a crap? Everything They're is right with the world, man. That's what I'm it's telling all you, that about. place. That's right. That's what it's all about. Yep. People don't get that. So now we've kind now of it's, we've explained it's, it. You got to be there. Got to be yeah, there. Yeah, it's you can't just uh, oh, it's great. Yeah, well, you got to go. So and then you'll know. But in Chicago, in Chicago, yeah, absolutely. Oh man, I so, can go for a Gino's East pizza pizza right now. I oh, bet. God. I know. Oh. I gotta send you one or do something. I gotta ship one down oh, here. Oh, Gino's East. Oh no, you said you gotta lose. We right? got Luminality, but not Gino's East, man. I miss you don't have Gino's East. Gino's okay. is, that's it, man. That's the. Do you have a Giordano's? We have a Giordano's, but we you don't have a Gino's okay. East. We don't have a Gino's. That's the Gino's. creme de la creme, man. That's the ultimate pizza. It is. I know it people is. go, oh, yeah, New York styles, but. Okay, I'm talking Chicago style pizza. This is the best pizza ever in the entire planet. Yes. Chicago style yes. pizza. Yeah. All right, we better get back to horror. <laughs> I don't want to lose anybody. <laughs> Honey, they're talking about pizza. Okay, oh, I think shit. we lost everyone. That's yeah, it. They're yeah. like, okay, I'm turning What's it What's for dinner? Now they're all thinking about food now. Yeah. Um, Holy so, cow. So, what so else? we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, <laughs> in the future, we're going to do Suspiria. We're going to do 28 days and 28, and 28, 28 days weeks. later. Yeah. 28 weeks yeah. later. Yeah. That's, 
in the going to be in the works. Are we going to so compare both of those that. together, like twenty eight weeks? And sure, days we could together. Yeah, which one's better? We could. Yeah, we could. I love them both. That'd be an interesting I love to see. Them both. If you if you uh, have a feeling on which one's better, or if you like them the same, or I don't know, they're, so. they're like two completely not completely different, but but we, we'll get into that. Yeah, we'll get into that <laughs> next week or in the weeks to come. So, oh, a, a little a, a little extra trivia here for the Exorcist. Sure. Um, it said uh, the MPPA board uh, gave the film an R rating instead of an X. Which they thought they it deserved. Mm. Wow. Okay. They thought they were going to give it an X rated. Wow. I could see that though. A few cities tried to ban it outright to prevent children I from seeing it. I believe that too. Oh, absolutely. The obscen- obscenity concerns kept the film from home video release in the United Kingdom until 1999. Wow. Can you believe that? Holy cow! They're a little bit uptight in the United Kingdom. What the hell's going bit. on over there? <laughs> Top right. of the morning to you. Yes. <laughs> anybody oh, in the UK, my... can you write us and let us know why? If yeah, anybody in the UK, if anybody UK knows, yeah, us, that'd be interesting. Write us and let yeah. us know why. why yeah, drop us a note and let us know. Yeah, oh, I'm curious to find out. Me too. Hell, man. 1999. 19. Yeah, just wow. like the song by Prince. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where that came from, I don't know. I don't either. Holy cow! I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I can see everything you just. I could totally see that. Everything you just said. I. It was just. It was that raw and that over the top. Yeah, for shocking. especially for 1973. I mean, come on. Oh my gosh! Right? <sighs> yeah. I'm. I'm amazed that he, they. Now I mean, it's like tame. <laughs> it is. But I'm amazed that somebody somewhere didn't stop the film. Because, oh no, we can't do that, or, or or didn't change it, or water it. You know what I mean? But water that was it down. The thing. Or, it's like here. It, it's I mean, got I'm, all I'm these, amazed. It's got yeah. all these things going against it. Yet that's what brought people out to go see it. Right. That's why there was lines around the block to see this damn movie because right. they wanted to see what, what this was all about. Yeah, absolutely. It's that curiosity yeah. that people wanted, and there's. A, and like I said, you know, the, the people talking about, oh, there's people vomiting, seeing this movie, they're getting sick, they're being possessed, and all this thing. It, like, it, it just adds hell? to the draw. Absolutely. You betcha. Oh, I got to see that. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, I got to see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think it lived up to the hype. It lived up to, and that's you, what, know. you know. And that's what filmmakers used to do, like, just to promote, like, when they did Psycho, they would promote that, you know, had a, you know, write a release form before you saw this movie you know that type of stuff you know it kind of scare people before they even get in the film right you know but they didn't have to do that because they already had the hype of the devil oh yeah (laughs) they did because they said that the devil was actually in the film i mean in 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 one of the frames that's what that was the main thing people were going you want to see the actual devil he's in one of the frames and that i was like oh dude i ain't seen this movie wow kids man i tell you but that was the that was the whole thing man. wow that's what that's what got everybody because they actually thought that the devil was oh, yeah. in that film oh yeah i just remember like when you were saying people were throwing up and stuff because they got so sick to their stomach oh, i remember all that i remember when they were talking about it. i do yeah because uh, theaters were actually handing out vomit bags when you go see the yeah, film i remember that i really I mean, yeah, because i mean if you're not expecting that scene where the vomit comes out it is kind of sick it is. You know, if you got a kind of a queasy stomach, you know, you just... It sure is. God, like, what that. the fuck, dude? Yeah. And she vomits just... on a priest. So you're like, what the Right. Fuck? Oh, man, that was just crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> just things you'd never seen before. You know what I mean? That's the thing. And and like you said, now it would be tame and, you know, like Halloween would be tame and all that. But, you know, it was... It, and then you look at his entrance, the, the, ex, the actual exorcist. He comes in and... He's standing by the light post, and there's this light coming oh, yeah. from the window. Oh, she yeah. She opens up the door, and the mist comes out. You know, it's like this. It's great. <laughs> here's the Fantastic. here's the um, the cowboy coming in, and he's going to save the day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was cool. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just great. Yeah, what a film. Oh, my God. And then, and then you hear, like, so well. she's, like, trying to explain what's going on. You hear all these voices upstairs and things rumbling around he's just kind of like nonchalant oh yeah i've been through this before 
<laughs> I know. Nothing new here. Yeah. Another, yeah. another demon. Yeah, I've been through it before. Yeah. Little do you know. And then he gets yeah. up there and he's like, holy shit. <laughs> I know. My God. Crazy. You know, I want to tell you that it's a demon, but no, it's actually the devil himself. Right. <laughs> uh, we got a yep. little bit of a battle here. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> wow. I'm going to need some thinking. help, so I'm going to bring in Father Karras, who doesn't believe in, in God anymore. So right. <laughs> Gosh. Great movie. And just for its time, that's the thing. It's like, I keep going back to that. Did like you know 70s. that the studio wanted Marlon Brando? For, for, the, for, or for uh, Max von Sydow? Yeah. Wow. Freaking immediately vetoed this by stating it would become a Brando movie. Wow. <laughs> and Jack Nicholson was up for the part as well. Wow. And Paul, I, Paul Newman wanted the role as well. Oh, my God. Wow. I always find it interesting when you hear about who was, <laughs> you know, the director, whoever, you know, was in mind, who they had in mind for the role and and who turned down the role and. And then, you know, this is one of their biggest regrets of their lives. And, um, I, I, I yeah, I, 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 but I can't see these people totally, doing that. You know, I mean, I you totally, just can't. I, I totally, I, I, I agree with Freakin. It would, would have became a Marlon Brando movie. I would, yeah, be like, <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh my God. Vito, Vito you got to get out of this girl. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know, right? Either, That's true. When, did, like, when did the Godfather come out? Oh my! It was around the same time. Uh, I was going to say, 70s. wasn't it? It was in the seventies. <laughs> was it before or after? Do you think? I can't remember. Okay, well, it, it was, was right around, around that time. time. Yeah. Okay. 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 That sounds right. Vito, <laughs> you got to get out of this girl. Oh my god. That's that. <laughs> there's a sketch right there. That's that's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, the power of Christ compels you. Let me tell you. <laughs> you see him saying that? Oh my God! I, I just, I, I. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, but it's true. That would, it's so that would true. just would have took the whole movie in a whole I different think it direction. But would have taken you right out of the film. I, it, I'm seeing Don Corleone. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> I just, I am yeah. The Godfather. That's, that's the problem movie, with oh doing an iconic God. character like that. That's the problem. How funny would that be? Just like, oh my God! But it's true. Marlon Brando is the Exorcist. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! I bet you. I bet you SNL did the lot of. Oh my God! They have they to. I'm going to send that into yeah, SNL. They, they, they had be... to probably done something like that. Yeah, I'm sure when it with came out. Yeah. Marlon Brando and Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> There you go. Holy crap, dude. Yep. Paul Newman, yep. man. I don't, Paul Newman. Oh, what? I don't know if I could see that. No. I like Paul Newman, but no. Even if they made him look old. I just, yeah, I can't see it. He would, I just, it's although he would probably walk else. into the room and the devil would I ain't fucking with Paul, Paul Newman. Yeah. I'm leaving. I'll see you. Yeah. Bye. Color <laughs> money? Shit, he's going to hit me with a pool cue. <laughs> Huh, jam that up my ass. So he got his Dodge um, Charger outside. I don't know. Oh, his, oh, his Mustang? Yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bullet. Here comes Bullet, man. Oh, God, Bullet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But Mar Marlon Brando. Holy shit. I couldn't. Jesus. I just, yeah. Man, freaking I, made a good call there. I just, yeah, that would have ruined it. It became the Brando that. movie. It would Even Jack Nicholson. I can't. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, that would have been. <laughs> I just, I can't. Give me the axe. That. Give me the axe. <laughs> I'm just going to bash your face. <laughs> bash it right get, the fuck in. Get out of that, girl. I'm going to bash <laughs> your fucking face in. Light of my life. Get the fuck out of this girl. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Devil, light of my life. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
I kind of found that. Holy shit, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Holy Danny, fuck. I'm coming, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, if that's, they, that's good stuff. That's I don't think we can. That's something. That, I don't think uh, we got anywhere to go from there. <laughs> uh, that, that's something the Wayne's brothers should put together. They do all those, you know, those, those parodies and those stuff. Parodies, yeah. and they do, they should do a, an exorcist and have somebody come and play Brando and Jack Nicholson oh, as, God, as and Father Nicholson. Marin. <laughs> There's something to that. I mean, there's a lot of movies like that where you know you could have the character, you know, the actors oh. that were, yeah, that were going to be, oh that my god, were up for the role that didn't get the role or turned down the role or, oh, well, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, and then and, and then have them do the role. But hey, and hey, yeah, devil. that'd be funny. Here's Johnny. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> oh, there's hey, we can do The Shining. Oh. Although we talked, we touched on that a little bit when yeah, we, we talked did. about Doctor Sleep. Yeah. Okay. We can still do this. So that's Great another. Film. That's another. Oh my God, Jack! <laughs> now there's a movie I can't oh. see anybody else doing other than Jack. I just he was. Yeah. Th- yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he was perfect for that. Terrible. Oh my gosh! Everybody was great. She was great. What's her name? I can't think uh, of her name. Shelley. Is it Duvall? Is it Shelley Duvall? Yeah. Okay, she was great. Yeah, because she's quirky. She's a quirky yeah, person, and, she, and it just kind of whether or not you like her as an actor or whatever, she's just kind of—I don't know, man. It made the it made the movie kind of even more weird. I don't know. Just yeah, I mean, she's just the way she, <laughs> yeah, the way she gets frightened of him and starts Brandon. breaking down and crying and scared and yeah, she's great. Yeah, very good. What a film. Oh man. My Scat boy, Man brothers. Look I what you him. did to my boy. <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> you can't get Devil. past Brando. You're Devil. gonna be thinking about that for the a week. Devil. Look what you We're did. We're gonna start the next podcast. You're gonna go. Look what, what you did to my girl. <laughs> Devil. <laughs> my Devil, girl. you. What a good you did. <laughs> You're gonna have Brando, dude. He's gonna be in 28 days. He's gonna be in all. He's gonna be in Suspiria. He's gonna be the ballet teacher in Suspiria. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Geez. He's gonna make it like his appearance, like in all these other. That's you know, funny. And, and you know, thank God, freaking, you know, he was a well-known director because the studio wanted Brando. Yeah, I was and, gonna say, and, <laughs> and they could have forced it upon him. And that would oh, yeah, just kill like, the, I think it would I think it would have killed the movie. I think. Although, I think although, it would. You know, Brando's a don't get me. He's, he's a good, great, but great actor. He may, he might have pulled it off. Who knows? But it reminds me of um, Halloween and all the other actors you said that were up for Donald Pleasance, and then then they then they yeah, which it just Donald. completely. I mean, that just tells yeah. everything about casting it does it <laughs> if, really you does. if you don't have the right person the movie's gonna suck but you know, like i said i mean brando don't don't get me wrong brando's a great actor he might have pulled he it is. he might have pulled it off it's only because he, he he's so famous as the godfather that you would laugh about that but it's hard to but he might have he might have done really good who knows but yeah, yeah it's hard, it's to just hard not to that. It really is. Just in case it's we're really tough to any, do that. Any uh, Brando fans out there? But. Yeah, I, I hope we're not. Because <laughs> we do. We're not. We saying, love him. We like we love him. him. It's just, it was just funny. It was funny. Yeah, oh I, God, I just that's funny. Shit. I could not see. Man, wow! I can't believe him and Paul Newman. Wow, my boy, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking my heart, Fredo. I, I got it. I got an offer you can't refuse. Oh my God! Right, devil. I got an offer. How about, oh. what, how about Christopher Walken? Oh, devil. We need more cowbell. More oh cowbell. my God! I love him. I love. Oh my God! I love Christopher I can Walken. To him. He's great. Read the phone book. I love. <laughs> I, I just. Book. I love oh. Christopher Walken. Oh, I just. Geez. And one of the, if you please tell me you've seen, um, oh come on, with Christian Slater. Oh, uh, True Romance. Yes. Is that the one? Yeah. The... Yeah, True Romance. Oh. When he's, he's when he's got these talk. Oh. He does the scene where he's talking about the Chesterfield. Yes. Uh, yes. Cigarettes and they're, oh. I love Christopher Walken. 
God, he's so good. He's great in um, uh, what's that movie where he plays uh, Archangel? Oh, I don't know about the angels. Uh, God damn, I got I'm getting Alzheimer's, man. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> it happens. It happens to us. I'm t- oh yeah. <clears throat> We start talking about these old Holy films or giving crap. away your age, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen it. What's that? This movie I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I, maybe I have. I just I probably don't remember it. I don't remember the title either. <laughs> what are you, you talking know, about? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because you didn't tell I'm me still anything. Still on Brando. God yeah, damn, I don't man. Know. But um. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that's just, so. that's funny shit. See, you know, oh, I can find yeah. some funny stuff here. We could, we can, we can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even fuck it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I can't even type. Name. Oh, the prophecy. That's it. The prophecy. The prophecy. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll have to watch it. I you haven't seen, seen that? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I got some marching orders. All right. Good move. You'd like okay. it. You'd like it. You'll like it. It's really Anybody cool. else in it that I know? Um, it's got Virginia Manson in it. Uh, Eric Stoltz. Oh, Eric Stoltz. Okay. Vigo Morgenstein's in it. He plays. Okay, the, he that's... plays the devil. Wow. Yes, he plays the devil really good in the movie. Okay, is this an old movie or fairly? Uh, nineteen ninety-five. Oh, ninety-five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Really good movie. There's uh actually three of them. Three as, Protestant okay. movies. And, and are they all good or just the first one? Um, the first one's the best. The second one's not too bad. And then it kind of goes down from there. Off the rails, yeah. Yeah, they didn't really need okay. the, the sequels. But uh, <clears throat> I had okay. met the director, uh, Gregory Wyden. Um, I think it was he had come to, when, when I was in college, he came to the school. And uh, really, really cool guy. And I think okay. he wrote, Backdraft, if oh, wow. I remember right. Okay. Um, he was talking about that, if I remember right. Was it? The Prophecy. Yeah. All right. I got to check it out. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, if you like The Exorcist. I mean, this uh, it's not like that, but it's about angels. No. It's about the, the war in heaven. With uh, he, wow. play, he plays the Archangel Gabriel. Um, oh, wow. Christopher Walken does. Okay. But he's a bad guy. Or the Archangel's a bad guy. Okay. Uh, he's okay. basically trying to have uh, hell come into Earth, and oh wow, it's really cool movie. It's really good. Okay, I will check it out. Well, and we Constantine got we got derailed is... on that. Wow. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. We derailed a lot. That's all right. That's okay. It's so I guess on that note, we'll kind of end things here. Uh, all right. We kind of drawn everything out, but uh, yeah, because we're having fun, folks. We were, we are, and we will again. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week. No, I'm just kidding. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it. And um, Yeah, we uh, thank you again for listening. And uh, I'm Robert Drop Mercetti. us a line. Send us a message. Any questions, what have you. Love to hear from you, too. So. Oh, absolutely. Uh, go to our website at uh, horrorfane.com. Uh, you know, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Of course, we also have a new thing on our website. You can leave a review of our podcast if you don't have Apple products. Um, you can review it. It's, there's a badge right on Horror Vein on the main page. You can't miss it. So you can do it there Great. as well. Sounds good. So, again, thank you for tuning in to another Horror Vein. We'll be back next week like we always are. Yes. And thank you again for listening. And we appreciate all our new listeners that have been coming in. Yes, thank you. We love you all. We do. So until next week, have a great week and stay safe. See ya. Listening to the Fear Film Studios Podcast Network.